Hey guys, welcome to another video and thank you again for tuning in. In this video, we're going to be checking out Wella Maki Madoka Magica. I believe I said that correct. I believe the smaller, more abbreviated version would be Madoka Magica or Magical Girl Madoka. Uh, whatever you guys choose, I prefer to call it just Madoka. So we will be checking out the Madoka Omnibus as you guys can see here. And this compiles three volumes into one. So before we begin, just a little fun fact. Each chapter in the manga actually represents an episode in the anime. So the best thing about this omnibus edition is, like I said, it collects three volumes and there's only three volumes of Madoka manga. So this actually gives you the full story from start to finish, which is something I absolutely love. I love collecting omnibus editions that give you the full story and you don't need to collect anything else. One last thing I want to mention before I do a flip through of the manga is that there are some differences between the anime and the manga. So for fans of the series that watch the anime first, there are some things I want to mention, but let's let's do a quick flip through of the manga first so you guys can have a quick take a quick look at it. So yeah, let's check it out. So as you guys can see, this is a pretty solid omnibus. Um, I did a quick size comparison for you guys there, just so you guys can get a general idea of how this sits with a regular manga volume. It is slightly larger, but hey, bigger pages, you get bigger artwork, and definitely the artwork pops out the most. So it, it's a definitely a welcome change. Um, I love seeing more bigger sized editions, although it, it's not oversized. I mean, it's not a hardcover, but it is paperback, and I'm completely fine with that. So as I mentioned before, there are some changes from the anime and the manga. Now, it's, I'm going to be here all day if I go over every single difference because there are quite a lot of differences. In fact, there's a Wikipedia page dedicated to going over every single difference comparing the episodes to the manga. So one of the main changes that I do want to mention is that there is a slight difference in the artwork. The manga actually represents a more mature character design for the characters. So I have two images on the screen for comparison. On my left hand side we have the anime and on my right hand side over here we have the manga. So like I mentioned the manga does represent a more mature design which I really liked. The anime version also has its own appeal so I wouldn't really completely shoot down the anime version because it does bring something new to the table. Overall for me I did like the design of the characters in the manga more so I have no complaints whatsoever. So aside from the characters there are some additional changes they have made to many many things of the manga and the anime and I will link the wikipedia page down below so if you guys want a full list of changes it's down there check it out. That's it for me guys I will be wrapping up the video here I do highly recommend checking this out if you guys haven't already. Like I said before this is uh, the complete story it has three in one omnibus highly worth picking up for the price. I believe it's about $28 Canadian and $21 USD. But yeah guys, thanks for tuning in once again. I will be bringing more reviews pretty soon. Uh, thanks again for tuning in for this video and I'll see you guys next time.